Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. And we have a Love is Blind story to get to here. An apology from Irina on her Instagram following, I guess, a lot of hate she's been getting the way she's portrayed herself on this season of Love is Blind. Have you been watching the show? If not, you might want to go watch the show, then come back and check this out. Otherwise, we'll just bulldoze right through the show and get to the juicy drama. Uh, season four of Love is Blind is probably the highest rated. Everyone's talking about it in the news. It actually was perfectly dropped the final episodes this past weekend, right after the uh, Bachelor finale. So for all those that are looking for that parasocial uh, sort of drama and relationship, they're about to get it. Follow me on Instagram at dneals, patreon.com slash Dave Neal for behind the scenes bonus content. And if you want other reality news, I covered American Idol, my favorite songs from last night's episode of Hollywood Week. Go check that out. Link in the comment section below, bachelorrushhour.com. The podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour, every day, your daily content. So let's play the apology, and then we'll discuss what the heck she's actually apologizing for. Here is what Irina had to say. On the show. Oh, let's go back to the beginning here. Here's what she had to say. It's already got 290,000 plays. Hi, I want to start off by saying um, sorry that this video is a little delayed. I really wanted to take some time to process everything that has been going on this past week and really get my thoughts together before I responded. Um, the first thing I want to say is that I have privately apologized to the people that I have hurt and mistreated. And um, second of all, I wanted to say I'm so, so sorry for the people that watched the show that felt frustrated, angry, hurt by the way that I was mistreating people on the show. It was very immature and naive um, of me in a lot of those situations. And I just want to say that Zach, Bliss, Amber, Jackie, Micah, none of those people deserve to be treated the way that I treated them. And I'm genuinely so, so sorry. Um, truly, I want to add value to people and I want to make people feel seen. And who I was on the show was the complete exact opposite of that person. And I feel like being on the show was like getting a mirror put in front of your face in the sense of seeing yourself from a different perspective and that opened up so so much to me and i'm still processing and um, going through everything that happened um and i just want to say that i'm still journeying this the journey is a word i'm still journeying this all of this and everything that happened and um figuring out like the person that i want to be and that i want to move forward to be um but i know that none of those things were okay and even Zach, like he was so vulnerable with me and I so mistreated him and shut him out. And Wrap I hope up. that uh, one day I get to share my experience and uh, what was kind of going on with me emotionally during that experience. Um, but until then, I just appreciate you for watching this and listening to this. And um, thank you. All right. So some people said that it had about the sincerity of a chat GPT. Uh, you know, automated apology. And others, even her cousin apparently commented saying that she's horrible and has always had main character syndrome and is uh, the only one in the family who acts like that. Yikes. So if you just watch this apology alone and don't know what's going on with Love is Blind, I can totally understand it. Uh, it's a good sales pitch to watch the show. So she offered her apology. Of She got engaged to Zach. Okay, so you either know this from watching the show or you don't. But um, despite being friends, Irina eventually reveals that she was interested in Mika's fiancé, Paul, after actively flirting with him in Mexico while simultaneously losing interest in her own fiancé prior to their breakup, Zach subsequently got engaged to Bliss. So a lot going on here. She also had beef with um, Bliss. They got in a fight over grilled cheese that didn't make the show. So apparently, you know if you got in a fight over grilled cheese and it didn't make the show, there must be so much other drama to talk about here. So there's Bliss, and we've got a couple of the clips I'm going to play for you guys. Um from Love is Blind, the moment that they first met. So, okay, if you don't know how the show works, it's pretty simple. They, they pair you up in these pods, and you meet all these. It's like speed dating in pods, right? Then you decide who you like just based on personality but you're you know you're projecting your own what you think they're going to look like and in past seasons we had shake uh who was like the guy who was trying to find out if they were 
uh, if they weighed a certain amount. So he'd be like, I'd go to concerts and I like to lift people over my shoulders. Could I lift you over my shoulders in a concert? You know, he's, he's like, I like to walk on thin ice. Would it be a problem if we walked on thin ice? You know, those types of things. But here we have that moment where you see your partner for the first time, they've already got engaged at this point. You kind of get engaged in some cases through the blurred out glass. It's very bizarre, but here they are meeting each other for the first time. And she kind of laughs through it. And uh, Zach's a nice guy. He's a lawyer, right? He's doing her own, his own thing. But they have this thing where she's like, hey. You know, and who knows? I mean, Good to see you. they do this thing where she calls his face creepy looking because he won't blink. And she's kind of like laughing through her own nerves. And everyone deals with their nerves differently. A good friend, Dr. Diane Strakowski, said this. This reveal was awkward, but also very real. When the pods bring out the best in you, but the physical attraction doesn't match. Neither one of them was feeling it. They need an eject button. Yeah, neither was feeling it. And they could, you know. And so what it does is it proves to me that love isn't blind. Love isn't blind. Mind, body, and soul, we all, you know, it doesn't mean that attraction has to be everything, but you have to look at someone and bond magnetically. Now, that might not always be the case with every relationship, but clearly this relationship suffered from their physicality. Even Snooki's responding here. So lots going on there. And then uh, pre-breakup, it just gets even more awkward in Mexico. I'm not going to pinpoint and be like, oh, well, you did this, you shaved your arms and legs. I'm not going to sit here and point all these things like I don't like about you. I it just, it's, I'm not going to do that. Like, you don't deserve that. Yeah. Like, you're a great guy. Sure. Whenever you tell someone, I'm not going to point out the things I don't like about you. It's like, at that point, you might as well point out the things you don't like. Zach responded. Is it Goitowski? Am I pronouncing that right? Zach said, honestly, I felt like a complete failure in this moment after going through all that. Just to end it after a few days. But sometimes you just have to cut your losses and admit you made a mistake. Looking back, I have never been more proud of myself. I feel bad because I feel like I showed up like really bad for you too. Like you got the worst part. This is like, I've never like made anyone feel this way. Like, I, like I'm literally treating you so poorly. Like I know it. Like I won't even like look at you, like touch you. Like I, you talk. All right. So she knows she's treating him poorly. And at the same a Mexican sort of aspect of the show. So they get engaged or they don't, you know, depending on not all the relationships make it to Mexico. Then they go, I say Mexico because they're at some, you know, beach or whatever doing their thing, but that's where the relationships either flourish or they don't. And there's more inter uh, mingling. You know what I mean? And again, I'm explaining this for the people that haven't watched the show before. It might sound obvious. Here I am. Uh, love is blind explaining to you. But um, there was this moment here where she not only, I think I, did I already reveal this part where, yes, yeah, she was um, caught flirting with another uh, cast member's fiance. So clearly she was a mess on the show and all over the place. But this is what you get. You put people in situations where like, you know, in real life, she wouldn't have given Zach two seconds on in you know at a bar or whatever. They just wouldn't have worked out, and you would have moved on. But um, we build this fantasy, and it's like I would love to know more of what Dr. Diane Strakowski thinks about this, about the idea of projecting your thoughts um, of what you expect someone to look like onto someone else. You hear their voice. I mean, it's like every time you're on the phone with someone, if you want to, you can like think of like, oh wow, who am I talking to? Not realizing it's just like I don't know some random person, and and um, the show the show really exposes what is true is that love can be blind but love can also be more complicated than that especially if you have to work on yourself clearly Irina is uh, working on herself with her apology here we'll have to see if they're going to have some sort of reunion to talk it all out uh, and where they go moving forward but that's your love is blind update I'll, I'll keep on giving you guys some more love is blind content as it all spills onto the streets uh, in the meantime don't forget check out the podcast if you want extra bonus content we got the American Idol recap today I play about six of my favorite songs from last night's episode of Hollywood Week on American Idol. And you can, of course, check out all the other content and uh, put some bread in the tip jar at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. Let me know what you guys think. Are you watching Love is Blind? If so, would you like more content? We'll talk to you soon.